Uh, thank you. And now we are, I suggest we open to a few questions from the room. I know we're late, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am Mayor I'm Mayor Shitrit from Israel. I enjoy to listening to you. It's very encouraging to see that really there is a chance to change the situation of the world in the future. Uh, I'm glad also as well that uh, I mean, it's funny that the president of uh, Brazil had lost the election. Yes. Because now maybe they will stop <laughs> the destroying of the Amazon forest, which contributes a lot to the quality of life. I wonder if you hear about some of the uh, some of the methods that now are checked in Israel by high-tech people. They think that it is possible, maybe, to develop things that will absorb mm. the carbon mm -hmm. from the air. Uh, I don't know how and how in which way, but uh, they think about some kind of way that they can really absorb the carbon from the air, and by that they will reduce strongly. The situation will change the situation for best. I, I'm, I'm wondering if you heard heard about it, or you know something about it. Thank you. Yeah, very quickly because it uh, can be a very long conversation around direct air capture technologies. Uh, but we have a, a, a company in the, in the West Coast, and they're working on on project like that, which is uh, basically biomimicry, uh, copying nature, and by using material that have the ability to transform and to capture uh, carbon out of the air. So yes, there's a lot of innovation in that field. It's in the early stage of, uh, I'd say, uh, science, but it's, uh, there's a lot of investment in this stage. Yeah, um, just to make a comment that as a Brazilian, I'm very happy that Lula won as well, um, and that we have a little bit more chance with the Amazon forest. And, um, and it's interesting when you go to meetings about um, cement producers in the UK and they are mainly talking about the possibility of carbon capture and that's very fundamental for that industry as well. Um, yeah, I, I know that there are some technologies out there, but there is a lot to be developed still on that front as well. Yeah. Bruno, you wanted to add something? Yeah, I just wanted to add one comment, which is general to what to everything we are developing here is that even if you look at new technology, you mm -hmm. still need to produce materials to make those technology efficient. So this kind of huge vacuum cleaner that can capture CO2 will use a lot of minerals to be built, this kind of ceramics or deolites from what I've uh, learned about these technologies. And we still have the issue of the raw materials. We need to be more circular because to build those mm. huge materials, use vacuum cleaner, we still have the issue of what we do with the waste we are generating today. So we need to address the circularity, reduce our consumptions of raw materials. And those ceramics, they need to be mined. Huh? It's a lot of issues also when you are mining the ground. Mm. Our iPhones or our telephones, if you are a Samsung uh, lover, uh, they, they weigh only 500 grams, but actually, if you were carrying them with what the waste you have generating, they will be tens of kilos. Absolutely. Good question there. Uh, thank you for this fascinating uh, panel. I love in particular the biomimetics idea. Uh, very inspiring that nature can teach us how to protect nature. Um, question is the following. I see you combine some regulations, some incentives, um, there's a need for money, but I was thinking, why not find a circular funding mechanism? By that, I mean making sure, building on what you just said, uh, that those who produce materials that's going to generate a lot of waste pay for it. So include in the price of goods the price of waste, ultimately, so the, what we called in the past the externality negative. Huh? Uh, so this is something I'd like to have your views on. How can we create a self funding mechanism where the mainstream funds the future. Oh, okay, I'd be happy to answer that. So I, I tried to touch on that just a bit. Uh, this I would call extended producer responsibility. 
Uh, so in the OECD, our definition of this is taking the post-use stage and making the producer either financially or physically, in some cases, responsible for this. And so we have a, a quite a wide definition of which policies fall into this overall approach. But uh, you could think of deposit refund systems, you could think of take-back requirements on the producers, you could think of financial obligations at the point of production, and then we would call this an advanced disposal fee and that these are used quite extensively throughout the OECD. I think we have just about all of our members have something in the form of a packaging EPR at the moment, <clears throat> but we're also taking a look at how this can be applied to additional product sectors, so plastics beyond packaging. We're also considering construction, uh, food production and waste, and seeing is this something that could be applied to more than just the traditional packaging application. And as well, we're looking at what possibility could be done to address more of the environmental impacts as they occur throughout the life cycle and including this within the producer's realm of responsibility. So this is definitely something that we are looking at. Thank you for the question. Bruno, do you, you, yeah. you raised your hand. Did you have any addition to make? Yes, uh, I, I think Andrew summarized it pretty well. Uh, the EPR, the extended responsibility for the producer, is one way of collecting money. And if it's done cleverly, so for instance, you put more money to be uh, taxed. When you put a material which is difficult to produce, which is producing a lot of CO2 and very difficult to recycle, then you are generating extra revenue and force the people to be more clever in their design of products. Wonderful. So with this, uh, I, I've, I've seen big signs saying that we needed to stop because I think we're late on schedule uh, in the afternoon. We thank you all for uh, your time and your attention, and we definitely can continue the discussion uh, over uh, lunch, breakfast, and, and in the next days. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, bye.